Okay, you're at welcome to your video tutorial on distance and time graphs. Okay, basically distance and time graphs show distance on the vertical axis, so on the x-axis, and time on the horizontal. When an object isn't moving, um, then the graph of distance versus, oh sorry, when an object is moving at a constant speed, sorry, the graph will be in a straight line. When the object stops for a while, the line will go flat, so it'll go as if it's on the x-axis, and every time they move, the line or the linear relationship will increase. So let's have a look. Okay, find Noah's speed in the first hour of the journey. Okay, well, the first hour of the journey is from 6 a.m. till 7. 6 a.m. starts here. 7 a.m. goes to there. It's in an hour, so that's really nice because I know I give speed in kilometers per hour. Okay, how many kilometers did you travel in that first hour? Well, let's go up. Boom, go across. Distance is about 25 kilometers in the first hour, so he's going 25 kilometers per hour. Okay, how many minutes was Noah's first rest break? Okay, now if Noah's not going anywhere, if he's not making any distance, it's going to be the flat one. Okay, so it's going to be from about here's going to be his first rest break. Now, this is where 7 a.m. is, this is where 8 a.m. is, that'd be 7.30. If I go up and look at Noah, he gets halfway along to 7.30. So his rest break is going to be about 15 minutes for the first one. Okay, find Noah's speed between 7.15 and 8.30. Okay, if you remember, speed equals my distance divided by time. We did these just before your test. Speed equals distance over time. Okay, well what was his distance at 7.15? At 7.15, he went from kilometre 25, 8.30, he'd finished kilometre 45. Okay, so if he started at kilometre 25 and finished at 45, that's a distance of 20 kilometres. Okay, and over what kind of time? Okay, well, 7.15, 8.15, okay and I have to get to 8.30, so that's one hour and 15 minutes, one hour and a quarter. But remember, I have to write it is in decimal. What's a quarter in a decimal? It's 0.25, okay? And if I go 20 divided by 1.25, I get an answer of 16. Remember, it's speed. So the answer is 16 kilometers per hour, okay? At what time did Noah start and finish his second rest break? Okay, his rest break is going to be where he's not moving. He started that at 8.30, okay. He finished at about a 15 minute or a quarter past the hour mark, so it's about 9.15, okay. He starts at 8.30, okay, and he finishes at 9.15. Okay, at approximately what time did no had Noah ridden a total of 65 kilometres? Okay, ooh, this is interesting. Well, by his second rest break, so by this point here, Noah had ridden 45 kilometers, okay? He'd ridden 45 kilometers. We need him to ride another 20. We need to know where he'd been for another 20. Okay, so he's coming, this is a distance from home. So he's gone away from home. Now he's coming back, okay? He's done another five to get to here, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65 at about this point, okay? And if you look on a map, that correlates exactly with about 10 a.m., okay? So what time, uh, by what time had Noah ridden 65 kilometers? 10 a.m., okay? Find Noah's speed on the return journey to one decimal place, okay? So this is a bit of a trickier one. First thing you know is speed equals distance over time. Okay, what was his distance on his return? Well, how far did he, did he travel? If he started 45 kilometers away from home and he got home, his distance would have been 45 kilometers, okay, because that's how far he started on his return journey, and he got all the way back down to zero, so 45. Over what kind of time? Oh, so it was from about 9.15, 9.15, 10.15, okay, he, he was home by 11, so it's one hour and f he went one hour and 45 minutes. Okay, now how do I write 
45 or 3 quarters, it's 1.75. 45 divided by 1.75 gives me an answer of 25.7 kilometres, and then because its speed has to be in kilometres per hour. Okay, what was Noah's average speed for the whole journey? Okay, so how far did he travel the whole time? Well, he travelled up 45. What was his distance? Speed equals distance over time. Okay, he travelled up for 45. He travelled back down for 45. So that's 90 is the total distance. How long did it take him? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours. 90 divided by 5 is 40. Oh, sorry. 40. Where did I get 40 from? 90 divided by 5 is 18 kilometres per hour. And that's it, guys. That's distance time graphs.